Hello, I am Alvaro Trigo and I am the creator of fullpage.js, a plugin for jQuery. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain very quickly how to create a basic website uh, using this plugin. First of all, we're going to open the browser and we are going to look for fullpage.js in Google, for example. Um, you will find my website, the first one in the list. Then we will go to the documentation which will bring us to uh, my GitHub account in which you have all the documentation needed to understand the plugin and a link to download it. We are going to click here in download zip to get uh, the files that we need to start working with it. Once we have the files, I'm going to just create uh, an empty index.html5 I had already created it before. Uh, well, let's delete it and let's create it again. Okay. We are going to open it with a text editor and we are going to start creating the basic structure. First of all, we will need uh, the doc type. I'm using the HTML5 doc type, but you can use any other one. Anyway, it's uh, something that you need for full page to work properly, or otherwise uh, you might have some troubles with some features. After it, we will add a header, then a body, and I forgot the HTML. That's it. Once we have this, we go back to the documentation and um, in this tutorial I'm just gonna copy and paste mainly to do it as quickly and as simple as possible. I'm gonna copy all the files that we need to include. Um, I'm gonna paste in them in the head in the header of our website. You can delete the comments if you don't want and you probably can even delete the slim scroll better if you are not planning to use the overflow scrolling uh, feature. After it, we are going to create our basic HTML structure, which we are going to paste in the body. We are going to make it a bit more interesting by using some text section 1, section 2, section 3, and section 4. Well, to make it more interesting yet, we are going to add some horizontal slides. To do so, we just have to add an element with the class slide inside the section. We are going to use slide 1, slide 2, and slide 3. Three horizontal slides in the second section. Full page, use the um, use the name section for vertical um, sections or slides and the name slide for a horizontal ones. Once we have this we have already the basic structure to make the plugin work and now we need to add the initialization of the plugin. To do so we are going to do it in the header, we are going to add a script tag and here we are going to paste our jQuery um, initialization of our plugin. Once we have this, we could have the plugin already working, but to make it a bit more visible for you guys, I'm going to just add a couple of uh, more options. I'm going to add the option sections color, so you can see the sections with some colors as a background and I'm gonna add just for fun the CSS3 uh, option setting it to true and for you guys to see it properly I'm just gonna add a style with the class section and the font size to 6 a.m. for example e.m. excuse me and the um, what else uh, the text align 
center. Okay, we save the changes and here we have it working. And we can test it by opening our file and seeing how we can scroll vertically as well as horizontally. And this was all for this tutorial. Um, this is the basic example. I didn't want to make it more complicated, I wanted to do it fast, so I limited myself to copy and paste for, from the documentation. Uh, if you guys want uh, more tutorials, uh, I will be able to do them. Um, so just let me know. I can add different examples with different options or um, naming different kind of difficulties that people has have trying to uh, implement this uh, plugin. Um, so good luck using it. Bye.